Hello everyone. Today in Ji's kitchen, we are going to see how to make a fried chicken recipe. Come, let's get into the video and check out the ingredients and how to make it. So for this recipe, here I have taken about six drumsticks. I have brined this uh, chicken. Um, just add some salt and add it into the water and let it be for about four to five hours. You can keep it in the fridge. That's when it becomes uh, very soft and nice. Um, so I have done that and I have taken the chicken here. So for the chicken, we are going to make a simple marinade. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of um, tomato or chili sauce. You can take as per your wish. It's about two tablespoons. Then in goes one and a half tablespoons of soya sauce. half a tablespoon of red chili powder if you want you can add pepper as well I'm not going to add in any salt uh, since I have added soya sauce uh, that should be enough mix this well Once this is mixed well, here I am using some all-purpose seasoning. Uh, this consists of garlic powder, pepper powder and all. So I am going to just add a little bit, not much. If you don't have garlic powder, you can still add in a um, little bit of ginger and garlic paste. Now this is mixed well. Now I am going to put in the chicken and marinate this. Now I have mixed the sauce into the chicken very well. I'm going to just leave it aside. We don't have to marinate it for too long. If you want, you can keep it overnight. It doesn't matter, but it is not um, necessary to do it. You can just leave it aside until we make the um, flour mix. Onto a plate, I'm going to add in one table. I'm going to add in one cup of all-purpose flour. One fourth cup of corn flour, and two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning. Instead, you can add one teaspoon of chili chili powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder and a little bit of salt and pepper. Since the all all-purpose seasoning is having salt, I'm not going to add in first. Let me mix and see. If the salt is enough, if not, I'll be adding a little bit. I'm going to add in a little bit more uh, of seasoning. So it's about two and a half tablespoons of seasoning for this amount of flour. And not necessary to add any salt if you are adding this seasoning but if you are adding separately all the ingredients add some salt according to your taste now here the flour mix is ready and my chicken is also ready and here I have taken some water with some ice cubes instead you can use ice water so now let's mix the chicken and the flour so before mixing it into the flour, I'm going to add in one egg. Mix this well. And let's take one piece, mix this, mix this in the flour mixture.
once you had mixed it put this into the ice water and then mix it again in the flour mixture This is an easy way to satisfy your kids' cravings of eating um, fried chicken, especially during this time of um, lockdowns everywhere. Mix it well. Make sure the flour is coated very well in the chicken. And let's keep it aside. Repeat this with all the chicken. Now into a pan, I have uh, added oil. You have to add enough oil so that the chicken soaks in and fry. Here, all the chickens are well coated in the flour. Now let's add in and we will have to fry this for about 12 to 15 minutes in low medium flame. Now our fried chicken is ready. Um, I want to tell you a tip. Whenever you fry, when you add in the first batch and take it out, just leave it for 2-3 to three seconds, um, the oil vessel, and then you add in the next batch. That will allow the oil to uh, cool down a bit. I thought my camera was running when I wanted to show you. Uh, unfortunately, it was not captured, so I am telling it now. So make sure you do that so that your chicken becomes crispier also. I am going to serve it with a little bit of um, french fries today. So make this at home and enjoy with your family and friends. You can see it's very crispy and juicy as well. So make this at home and enjoy with your family and friends. Let me meet you with another interesting recipe. Thank you.